alla medborgare i Sverige och EU vill ha friska, fiskrika hav. Vi lever i demokratier. Så hur kan det komma sig att våra hav är utfiskade på randen av ekologisk kollaps? Vem har den verkliga makten över våra hav? EUs fiskeriminister har beslutat varje år hur mycket fisk som får fångas. Men vi medborgare får inte veta vilket land som driver på för högre fångster eller vilken minister som vill följa de vetenskapliga råden. Nobody can influence it because nobody knows what positions the member states are taking or what their arguments are. So they basically say that it would be too difficult to reach agreement if uh, god forbid the citizens were getting involved in, in having their view on on fishing quotas and so on. EU:s ombudsman Emily O'Reilly ska utreda missförhållanden och maktmissbruk inom EU. Hon arbetar för största möjliga öppenhet vid EU:s institutioner och är kritisk till hur de för havet avgörande besluten fattas. O'Reilly har svårt att förstå ministerrådets ständiga nattmanglingar. It seems that everybody is sort of squeezed together in a very tight time frame. Is it really good to be making decisions at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning? I don't think so. What's wrong with going to sleep, coming back? Let's try again. But maybe that's a deliberate ploy. If we make them sort of desperate for a bit of sleep and a cup of coffee and we don't give them either, then they'll be forced to make a decision. That is not a good way to make decisions. But I've never seen why they have to have this sort of frenzied process at the end over a very important matter. These are critical decisions that are being hammered out in a few days in private with nobody able to be influenced uh, able to influence it and, and, and that really can't be right.